Well, time now for us to do the news and the quantity of PPE supplied to schools have come into question as claims about these quantities and the quality supplied do not, well, reflect the reality in various schools as the supplies have been done in the OT region. Now, joint news checks in some of these schools revealed that busy schools continue to grapple with insufficient PPEs three weeks after schools were supposed to have reopened for academic work. Some of these schools would have to improvise due to the non-supply of the complementing component of the PPEs, especially Veronica Bucket. Correspondent Peter Senu has been doing some checks and has more in the following report. A visit to at least a district for basic schools and checks from other schools in various districts across the region reveal that both private and public basic schools continue to grapple with insufficient PPEs. For the face masks, students have at least two each. Just a few of them, for one reason or the other, have one each. Some of them have been speaking to join news. Daku Godwin and Rabiu Sharif are students at the Roman Catholic Junior High School in KJB. Anytime I close from school, when I went home, I wash it and then put it on the line. When it's dry, I iron it nicely and put it back in my bag. Mm. The next but, but, but the weather now is very bad. Does, does it get dry properly before you wear it every morning? Not always. Not always. So I iron, iron it for it to dry well. Before you use it? Yes. Mm. But I think this will help us so that they will give, give us another one so that we we'll add it to at least two. The government gave us one and it is not enough for us for use it. That's why sometimes you see that we are using one. So we are just there. So we need government to provide new ones for us so that it can be help us for our face. Because yesterday I wear it and I wash it. That's why I didn't wear it today. Some teachers also share their concerns. George Atara is a teacher at the RC Junior High School. Now the weather is bad. And for that reason, we need to wash our nose bags before we don't have enough of them. Each teacher on this staff is having only one for now. So after school, you need to wash it and then dry it. Make sure you wear it to school the following morning. The weather is bad. You can't, at times it doesn't dry. Uh -huh. So we are calling on people in authority to maybe supply us up to the trade that we have been promised. Apart from that, the sanitizers, the rate at which they are going, I, for instance, I was using my personal one before we were supplied with this. I started using this one only on Monday because when you're marking the exercise books, after marking one or two, you need to sanitize because we didn't know whether they are infected or not. If we have more, I think it will do us good. It is the same state of affairs in other schools as teachers and students continue to depend on improvised hand washing setups that do not serve the large numbers. This often leads to crowding during break periods just because the containers provided did not come with the appropriate fitting taps and those on the open market do not fit properly. We are told this is a regional challenge. Francis Nogbeji is a headmaster for the Roman Catholic Basic School in KJV. Some children are having one while others have two. Mm, how come that? Uh, they said uh, they are not enough. They will bring us more. Mm, who, who said they are not enough? Uh, it is from the directorate. The Veronica bucket was supplied, the, the liquid soap were also given, uh, but the Veronica bucket are without tap. So currently we are using the TP tap, awaiting the taps to come. Mm, so considering that and then the number of students uh, you, you are handling, is, is this serving the number? The it is not serving the number. Uh, if we, right now we are looking for another gallon to mount another one, another additional TP tap. Uh, it is not okay, but uh, in the absence of the doubt, that is what we have now. So that's the best we are using. Joiners can confirm that some additional quantities of face masks have been received by district directorates for distribution. Peter Senu for Joy News.